Hello, welcome to another video talk. My name is Willy and I want to talk to you about this film, Dead Ringer. Video, video talk. talk. It's a Filipino action film directed by Teddy Page, a director of such classic films like Ninja's Force, Fireback, Blood Depths and Black Fire. You just might ask, what's so special about Filipino action films? <laughs> You flunky! It all, all started with uh, Francis Ford Coppola's uh, Apocalypse Now, which was shot in the Philippines. And it was shot there because it was a cheap place and also it because it resembled Vietnam. It was such a huge production, so basically it, it created a whole new industry in the Filipinos, which was a war movie, action movie industry. After that, many American companies such as Roger Corman's Concord and many more others went there to shot their low budget films because it was like a fraction of the budget if you shot an action picture in the Philippines than what it would cost in the United States. I want to talk to you about this because I watched it last night and I was confused as a motherfucker. Let let me explain. Let I will try to explain what happens in this picture called the Death Ring. Our story starts with uh, this guy who goes in the town. I think I believe he said that he inherited a house from his uncle or something like that. And he goes there and right out of the bat he gets falsely identified this other guy called Dave. Because apparently these two guys they look like each other. For some reason it is never explained. Oh it's so fucking confusing man. Oh how my brain is hurting already. And he gets immediately attacked by these Filipino guys and they, they try to kill him because they think he's dead. But don't worry, Frank is an able fighter and he fights bad guys and he jumps on the car and chases them until the car explodes and then Chopper comes, tries to shoot Frank. Frank falls into the lake and they shoot after him and the bad guys think Dave is dead now. But Dave's friend, called Charlie, he finds uh, this Frank character uh, unconscious in the forest. Uh, how he got to the forest, I don't know. But this Charlie guy explains to him that, okay, the bad guy Marlowe wants, wants Dave dead because uh, Marlowe's son raped Dave's wife or girlfriend and he wanted to bribe him not to justify against his son in the court. Yeah. <laughs> if somebody would rape your spouse, wouldn't you testify against them? Uh, but would you would you accept the bribe? Uh, I don't know. But Marlowe's logic dictates that, uh, of course, he he must accept. But. Since Dave doesn't accept, they kill his wife and Dave's mother <laughs> also. Th after that, all, all town is after Dave. This is what uh, Charlie explains to Frank, who looks like Dave. <laughs> Are you with me? Are you fucking with me? Because I I'm not sure if I'm telling it even right, because the way that everything is shot in this film and the way everything is not established at all it is so fucking confusing to follow bastard he called me son of a bitch i shot him I rewinded back at least four or five times to say, what, what happened? What just happened? And it's very hard because nobody tells anything. Everything just happens. No character is set up. No, nothing is built up ever. 
Okay, let's continue with the story. Uh, after Frank learns that these guys are after him, he defends himself for not being killed by kidnapping this Marlowe's daughter. Good morning, Miss Marlon. Shut up. Just get in there. Get in there. Move over. Move over. And sure enough, they fall in love. <laughs> and then... Okay, they fall in love and then Marlowe's daughter went for a walk, goes to shop or something. These are these two assheads that see her... False, I don't know. Isn't that Marlowe's daughter? It's like walking money in the bank. Yeah, you bet. Easy money. Then they go after her and try to shoot her. I, I was... What the fuck is going on? Oh, it's so fucking confusing, man. Oh, they are trying to shoot the daughter of their boss. Crime boss, right? But uh, apparently these guys are just some random dudes who try to kidnap the daughter for themselves. Right. Okay, then it gets even more fucking confusing. They agree in the telephone with the crime boss Marlowe that okay, we have your daughter, motherfucker. Pay us five hundred thousand dollars, and the bad guy says okay. And right after that, we got to a scene where this one guy walks in the streets with a suitcase. The other guy drives a motorcycle and hijacks the briefcase from his hands. And then we learned that this motorcycle who hijacked the briefcase is one of those kidnappers. Even though he's just a completely random dude we, that we haven't ever been introduced before. And then they find out that the money is forged. It is false money. But sure enough, uh, Marlowe's one guy follows this motorcycle dude and he enters the house blasting shotgun and killing uh, all of them. So... Daughter is safe and the original plot can continue. Frank meets Dave. Uh, he was somewhere. Dave was somewhere and he returned to take revenge on Marlow and yada yada yada. And then they, they shoot the bad guys and for some reason the original guy, Frank, had this experimental <laughs> military laser bazooka or something it is introduced right in the beginning it's not referred anywhere in the film until the final confrontation and he shoots a few rockets and people explode and Then it's time for end credits. Oh my god. And this film is only 73 minutes long or 75 with credits. And uh, it was pure pleasure the whole time. I mean, there's, there's so many weird scenes and weird action scenes. And You're looking for me? I have seen plenty of Teddy Page films, but this, I believe this one takes the cake. This is the hardest to follow. It was like entering to a magical world of Filipinians. The, the world where everything can happen. Everything will happen. If we talk about this, uh, this acting, acting, I, it's a word I use very loosely in this review. Uh, Max Tyre. Is, is the main main character here and I don't think I have seen Max Tyre in any other movie besides this I don't remember he doesn't know how to act he can't act for shit no. and that goes for other actors too but but that's a, that's a common trait in the Filipinian actor actors guild or if you can say that but uh, it, like I said, it, it has a it has a plenty of action scenes, and the action is great, and action is very over the top, not too bloody, but it's it's fun fun action. There's your usual fist fighting and explosions and car chases, and no dull moments in this picture. I can very warmly recommend you this film. 
uh, Death Ringer because if you're gonna watch one Filipino action film in your life, uh, this could be it. This characterizes the whole whole phenomenon of Filipino action cinema. It's fun. It's fun. It's short. It's not dull, dull at all. What the fuck is very strong in this one? So give it a watch. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing and hitting that bell button to get notified when there's a new video. If you have any requests about the films you want me to do, please tell me about it in the comment section. For more info, visit videospace.fi, a community for video collectors and movie enthusiasts. Thank you for watching.